Hello, I'm Steve Linton, the Director of Sustainable Technologies for Dell Tech Homes. We are here on location in Washington, D.C. at the 2011 Solar Decathlon. Solar Decathlon is an international competition. At this year's event, we have teams from Belgium, China, Canada, and New Zealand. All different types of construction are represented here. We have concrete prefab houses like the one behind me. We have wood frame construction, prefabricated, panelized, modular construction. And the architecture ranges from modern to traditional and everything in between. The Department of Energy puts on this contest to inspire innovation, promote sustainability, and to give us a glimpse into what the future of home building is going to look like. Here we are in Washington, D.C. on the National Mall at Appalachian State's Solar Homestead. Their students built and designed this entire house themselves. They came to Dell Tech Homes production facility to prefabricate the wall panels and the roof systems. All those components then came here and were assembled in about seven days. Now, having been a part of Extreme Makeover, we know how hard that is. This house is incredible. Yeah, absolutely. So this is our trial wall. It holds a wax inside. These are aluminum films with the wax. During the day, the sun heats this wax up and liquefies it. And then at night, when it cools down, the heat actually radiates back into the home. During the summertime, when you don't want it to overheat your home, you can actually close off the barn door on the exterior facade to help prevent overheating. We can, okay. So the idea of having the two bedrooms in our space is for a communal living space. Um, most other homes you'll see only have one bedroom. Um, however, we do have two because we focus on our large, great outdoor living area and our living space, um, which is pretty big as well. So the bedrooms are just the right size. You normally only live okay. Okay. So this is our bathroom. It is a fusion of exterior and interior materials. We try to use local, durable materials. On the north, south, and west walls, we have galvanized, corrugated metal, uh, very durable, very easy to clean. On the ceiling, floor, and east walls, we use um, locust, which is a uh, local wood, hardwood, one of the best options for wet spaces. The interesting fact about the finish on these boards uh, is that uh, as a result of some research that we did, we found out that if you mix vinegar and steel wool, you can create some sort of stain and that's what it's applied to these boards. So it's 100% organic finish on these boards. Uh, we try to hide um, architectural elements. Our shower is recessed into the boards to avoid having objects sticking from the walls. <laughs> The details on these doors, uh, this is the laundry room. We needed um, ventilation for that space. Uh, we needed a certain amount of square inches, uh, hence the size of these um, penetrations on the door. Uh, by using this architecture detail, you get ventilation and a door handle in one detail. Awesome hey, stuff you guys yeah. Have done, so don't awesome. feel like you're... All right, we have our breakfast um, bay window here. You can have your breakfast, you can read a book, you can take your nap, or if you have your big um, group over for a movie or football night, um, you can remove the tables and chairs out to either your flex arm um, or any space available. Welcome to the flex space. Uh, this is a 120 square foot self-contained unit. Um, it can be designed to be a, an office, an art studio, guest house, mother-in-law suite, whatever you'd like it to be. Um, you can even take it out in the woods and turn it into a hunting cabin. It's, uh, it's got its own half bath back here. Um, it's got its own HVAC system. It provides all its own power and water. Um, and as you'll be exiting through here, you'll see the outdoor shower. So it's actually sort of a completely self-contained unit. Yeah, so we're standing underneath our bifacial uh, solar canopy, which is on the great porch of the solar homestead. And what we've done is we've actually used these panels to create a protected outdoor space. So in addition to providing all of the electric electrical needs of the solar homestead, we get a thousand square feet of uh, area where we're not getting rained on, which is a really wonderful feature. Additionally, you know, we recreated that traditional Appalachian or Southern um, feel of a porch where you can have public social events, where you can hang out with the family and have dinner, drink sweet tea, play the banjo, whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, additionally, on our great porch, we've included these outbuilding modules, which allow you to have unconditioned space to store all that stuff that uh, Americans traditionally have. You know, we've got tools and gardening equipment. We've got, uh, you know, your sporting equipment. All that doesn't need to be in conditioned space. We're making the home more efficient by providing storage outside. And uh, it's very, you know, home study. It's very reminiscent of lean-to sheds. And so we've really carried that concept through each piece of the house.